Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. Today we're going to be looking at a worksheet called Calculating Perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around a shape. Find the perimeter by adding the lengths of all the sides together. It doesn't matter if there's three sides like in a triangle, or four sides like in a rectangle, or five sides like in a pentagon, or a hundred sides. Just add the sides together. Making your work nice and neat is a great way to make these problems even easier. I have a few tricks to show you with some of these shapes. Let's read the directions and get started right away. In each row, check the correct perimeter. Okay, remember, we're just adding the sides together. In this first example, we have a rectangle with sides of two inches and two inches, three inches and three inches. My favorite strategy for finding the perimeter of a rectangle is adding the doubles together first, then taking the sums of the two doubles and adding those together to give you the total perimeter. So let's start by adding two plus two. Math doesn't get easier than that. This addition problem two plus two gives us a sum of four. Our second set pair of doubles, or second pair of sides that we have to add together, is 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3 equals 6. So now we have our two sums of 4 plus 6 in which we need to add together. 4 plus 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, gives us a total perimeter of 10. So the perimeter for this problem is 10. You could have added 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus three, but breaking it into two smaller separate problems and then adding the sums is a nice easy way to find the perimeter. Let's take a look at the next example. In this problem we have a triangle with three sides. Each side has a length of four inches. So again, even though there's only three sides, I want to make an easy problem first. First thing I'm going to do is just add these two fours. So let's add four plus four. Four plus four is easy. You should know your doubles. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Four plus four is eight. Now all you have to do is add this other four to the sum of four plus four. Now we'll be adding eight plus four. Eight plus four, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, gives you a total perimeter of 12. 12 inches is the total perimeter. Remember, make your work easier. Make a nice problem first and then add the up. Remember, making your work easier is the best way to do this. Make two simple problems. Let's take a look at the next example. In this problem, we have a square. In a square, we know all sides are equal. And in this square, each side happens to be six inches. Instead of adding all the sixes together at once, let's do it one at a time. Six plus six, gives us 12. And if one six plus six gives us 12, well, the other two sides, six plus six, also equals 12. Now we have to add 12 plus 12. This problem is a little bit more difficult, so let's line it up vertically and add by place. Two plus two is a nice easy math problem, that's four. And one plus one is two, giving us a number of 24. That means the perimeter of this square is 24. That is the same as saying six plus six plus six plus six equals 24. All we did was add the sides together. We just made easier problems. In our last example, we have another rectangle. The sides of these rectangles are seven inches and seven inches and three inches and three inches. Again, let's make two easy problems. We can add the doubles and then we'll solve. 3 plus 3 equals 6. And 7 plus 7, let's count. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's 14. Now we can just add 6 plus 14. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 to give us a perimeter of 20. Believe it or not, in this problem, there's another easy way you could have solved for the perimeter. Let's look again. If we have sides of seven inches and seven inches and three inches and three inches, I know that I can make a 10 by adding seven plus three. 
So instead of using doubles in this, I'm using friendly numbers. So 7 plus 3 equals 10. And again, if I add 7 plus 3, it gives me a sum of 10. Now I can add my two 10s together, and everybody knows 10 plus 10 equals 20, giving you a perimeter of 20. So boys and girls, always write your perimeter problems easy. Try to make two simple problems, whether it's doubles or friendly numbers, and then add those sums together, meaning add all the sides together, to find the perimeter. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.